Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todabert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any future videos. Welcome to the face-off of two premium pocket radios, the fabulous C-Crane CC Pocket Radio and the awesome Sanjin DT400W. These two radios are amazing and they're very similar in features. I've had requests to do this video and here it is. So what we're going to do is run down a checklist of different things I found about each radio and which one is superior than the other and kind of give you my thoughts at the end. So let's get started. First radio we'll go with CC Pocket. It has a clock with an AM PM function. All right. The Sanjin DT400W has a clock but no AM PM function. Neither radio has a 24 hour clock, just for information. The Sanjin comes in, does it have an alarm clock? No, it does not. CC Pocket has an alarm feature, which you can access by hitting number two here and setting it. You wake up to beep only, it doesn't have a radio option, but still it has an alarm, which is fantastic. All right, moving on. Sleep timer. It's great when radios have sleep timers. CC Pocket sleep timer. You turn this down here. Press and hold the power button, and it'll cycle the sleep timer. And you can see the choices. 120, 90, 60, 30, 15 minutes. So you get the drill. Okay. The Sanjin has a sleep timer. of 90 minutes only and you know, it's either 90 minutes or it's off so that's all you get with this engine all right moving to the next feature we have viewing the clock while the radio is on okay so we'll turn the radio on we'll say navigate to AM band King to restore service Okay, so here, if I wanted to see what time it is, I just hit the band button. Excuse me, I hit the alert button, and it tells me the time. Nice. Sanjin, turn the radio on, and there is no feature for time. So, this does not have that feature. All right, as you can see, the packets leading the pack here, LCD displays, very important. They both have one. I find that the Sanjins, if you look, is much easier to read. It's bolder, thicker lettering, and in all angles, it seems very easy to read. You see a bright light. Yeah, and now if we go to the CC pockets, it's a little bit dimmer. Certain angles, it's brighter. But it kind of dims on certain directions. So, the winner of that one would be this engine. Yeah, much clearer. Let's see it as it just sits there. All right, let's see what else we can talk about. Signal strength indicator. This engine, does it have a single strength indicator? Nope. Not that I see. Okay. Does the CC Pocket have a signal strength indicator? High of 50. It does. And it works. Okay. Good. Uh, let's see. Next is build quality. Okay, both radios to me have identical build qualities. Plastics are good. Uh, fit and finish. Is very nice on both radios. I can't fault them except the Sanjin on my particular example has the raised battery door there. I mentioned that in my video when I reviewed this. Now I think it's just this particular radio and not all of them because I do have the 200X which is this, pretty much the black version without the weather band and it doesn't have a raised battery door. That's the only little nuance I noticed on build quality. Otherwise solid 
all day long on both these radios. Um, just premium materials. So they're equal in that respect. So they kind of both win that category. All right, speaker quality. Um, they're both really small speakers, but the Sanjin speaker tends to distort at higher volumes. The CC Pocket does not. The winner to that goes to CC Pocket. Uh, presets. So pr this is all, as I go along here, um, I'm, gonna, I'm giving the best of both, and you, you kind of get an idea, and you can judge for yourself which you feel is better. Okay, right off the bat, the Pocket, as you can tell, has five immediate quick presets, which is really nice. Plus it has 25 presets per band. The Sanjin DT400W has 19 total presets. There is no quick way to access them unless you hit your My Favorites button tab. You actually have to cycle to get to that. In a way, you have to cycle to get to the extra ones on here too, but I do like this immediate five right on the front and ready to go. And if I want to go after different stations that I don't listen to as often, then I hit my, my uh, Band button and change the different pages. Um, so the clear winner here is a CC Pocket with 25 presets on AM and 25 on FM. Although some people will find 19 adequate on the Sanjin. So, all right. Next, we can talk about, let's see, FM reception. Um, this is interesting. With no wire plugged in, this CC Pocket actually performed better than the Sanjin. And the reason why is in the manual, it states that there is a built-in antenna on the FM and weather band, built-in antenna. Did not notice that. And it says AM built-in for IFR. So there must be some type of wire that runs, I'm guessing, along the perimeter of the radio, like that. So I was able to actually tune in quite a few stations uh, in a good location without the wire, which I was shocked. Here I got maybe one or two stations, and my weather band 5 comes strong without the wire. So this may have a similar wire, it's just not as good as this one. So this one wins the FM reception without headphones or a wire. So it's good to know you can get some FM stations without that if you need to in a pinch. Uh, next is the FM reception with headphones. Okay, so when they're both in mono mode, they both work absolutely the same when you have headphones on. When they're in stereo mode, however, the Sanjin is a clear winner. Every time I went to a station, it immediately went to stereo no matter what position my headphones were in. With the CC Pocket, I had to play around with the reception by moving the headphone wire around, moving location. Uh, so definitely did not win that category. So if you listen to stereo like I do, and you like using your headphones a lot, this might be the winner in that category. Definitely. All right. Moving on to the next thing. We have... Okay, we talked about that. We talked about that. Okay, so deep bass boost. That's a feature on the Sanjin. Yes, DBB. Lovely. It sounds really good on the FM, especially when you're in stereo. You got all that bass, a lot of good sound. It actually has a tone control, too, on the FM band and the AM band. So nice to have. Uh, I like that. Uh, CC Pocket doesn't have it, and I wish it did on FM. Though the AM, it does have its DX tools, which we'll get to, um, so you can change the tone in that respect on the AM band. So a clear winner there would be, of course, the one that has the feature, the Sanjin. And let's move on. We have a lot to talk about. Let's see. AM reception. Now we're getting to the good stuff. AM reception. I tested these side by side, and I'll be honest with you, the CC Pocket's very good. The Sanjin is very good. The CC Pocket edged it just by a tiny, tiny bit. I mean, just ever so slightly. I used headphones on my test, same location, kept them separate, turned off the one, turned on the other to make sure nothing was interfering. And yes, for AM reception, the CC Pocket had a tiny bit of edge. Okay, I just want to point it out. It was very tiny, maybe negligible to some people, but to me, it definitely was a winner there. So that, that's... That has my opinion, and if you found something different, let me know, but that definitely worked for me. Um, this has, okay, so CC Pocket has AM DX tools, which allows you to tune the radio in one, mag, uh, one kilohertz steps, so you can get away from interference or other stations that are in the way. Okay, and it also has what you just saw there, bandwidth control. Oops, one, three. So we have 2.5 kilohertz or 4 kilohertz bandwidth. So really nice to have handy too. So that has it. The Sanjin does not. So you're able to pick out stations a little clearer 
on the AM frequency, giving it the AM winner on reception for that. Okay, next is tuning controls. The up and down buttons. They both feel fantastic. They both work great. The seeking is about the same speed. I noticed the sand engine takes off quicker than the CC Pocket. CC Pocket lags about a second or so, or half a second before it starts going. But then the speed at which they seek is the same. Um, stepping is the same. So, and of course, tuning up and down the scales are our breeze on both radios. So they're equal in that respect. Uh, backlight. So, you know, little simple things. These little simple things come up. Backlight. Um, the backlight on the, let's turn one laugh here, Sanjian, I like this one a lot. just seems a little brighter, even though it's one little side light LED. The pocket, it's it's more evenly lit, but it's dimmer. It's, it's probably really good in a super dark environment, but I do like the light on the Sanjian better. So for that comparison, the Sanjian wins. Back on. All right. So yeah, these little things, it's just, they all add up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alert mode. Okay, this is a really good one. And this one was brought to my attention. Uh, when you use the alert mode on the weather band, you are able to listen to the AM and FM radio at the same time the alert mode is activated on the Sanjin radio. You cannot do that on the CC Pocket. Don't know if that's a feature I'll ever use. And I can kind of understand that it might be a neat feature, like while you're waiting for an alert to come through, you can listen to AM or FM. To find something else out but to be honest with you i have in my situation usually when there's something going on uh, i know uh, that there's a storm brewing and i come downstairs to find out what's going on i put on my noah band right away so i rarely use alert and if i did i probably have a secondary radio uh, I, I would probably just have this sitting off to the side and then listening to my other radio but that's just me but if you just had one radio and you had to listen to am fm while the alert mode was activated this is the radio to buy this one here will still give you the alert. It's just you can't listen to your AM, FM. Just the NOAA band while it's on alert mode. So just giving you a heads up. So yeah, this is the one to pick for that. All right. Um, what's NOAA reception? We're, since we're talking about the NOAA weather band, um, they're both equal all respects with wire, without wire. I noticed that uh, they did a really good job picking up the band um, or two that I could get. Probably about three, uh, three weather bands equal to these radios. Maybe their size, why I don't pick up as much, but they get three uh, between the both of them. All right, so here's a couple little things I noticed um, that you might never see, but I, I noticed because I got to spend time with these radios. The CC Pockets volume control. Now, you're going to have this in your pocket a lot. Typically, this probably won't be an issue since it's like this in your pocket. But if you look at the top, you'll notice, if I can get a, let me move this out of frame. If you notice there on top, the volume control sticks up. There we go, see that? So that can be bumped in your pocket, definitely, easily. Um, yeah, so that is one thing I noticed on the CC Pocket. And the Sanjin, if you look, it's not sticking up. There it is, nicely flush. That's just a great design. Uh, maybe they change that in the future on the CC Pocket, but yeah, that's not gonna get bumped as easy because it's flush with the top of the case. So, real nice there. Okay, that's so the winner goes to the sand juice. That's just a well thought out idea. I mean, they got it close by flush, but just they couldn't lower it enough, I think. So, or they made it just a little easier to control. Uh, I don't see the difference in handling each one. I would like this one flush if possible in the future. So, your winner. Okay, next one is um, let's see, belt clips. Well, mine are off, but they both have belt clips and they both work the same. So, that's just one thing I'll mention. Um, if you're into bell clips, they both have them. Uh, let's see, the lock switch. Okay, so the lock switch works as you would imagine a lock switch does, you know. Hit the lock switch, a little key symbol comes on, a little key symbol comes on. Great, they work the same. The differences though are apparent because this one, <laughs> the lock switch is flush. So you're not gonna bump that in your pocket by taking it in and out. With this engine, taking it in and out, you might accidentally bump the lock switch because it's raised. Now, I don't know, they had a great idea here, and they kind of didn't do so good there. So if you look, it's raised. So just want to throw that out there. <laughs> it's interesting how the volume and then that lock switch. So clear winner for the lock switch is the CC Pocket because it sits flush. All right, things you wouldn't notice, right? 
Uh, so what I like, um, this one here is just kind of a, a fit and finish thing and an extra feature that the CC Pocket has that the San Jean does not. And you may, may or may not like my pick. I love this rubber rubberized edge to it. Some people don't like this because it might get sticky. I don't care. I like it for durability factor. If this thing were to fall on its edge, it's probably going to uh, keep it from cracking, uh, give it a little bit more durability to the radio. I like it to no uh, slip grip. You know, you get it in your hand, it's not going to slip out if you have a sweaty grip. Um, that is really nice, and I will uh, definitely promote this because I do love that. Uh, plus, it feels good too in the hand. So that's just a feature I like. And this one here is just smooth. Um, definitely slippery. If your hands were wet, this thing would definitely slide out easier. It's kind of like a soap bar feel. It's real curvy, smooth, um, but you may like that. Um, definitely would be easy to slide it in and out of your pocket if you were taking it in and out of your pocket all the time. So uh, that's one benefit probably of not having a rubberized coating is the ease of sliding in and out of a, a pocket or a jacket, uh, you know, somewhere stored, you know, a zipper pocket. So that that is preference. I give that to the CC Pocket for giving it a little rugged element there. All right. Next we can talk about... Oh, this is a good one. Uh, so they both have the ability to go 9K stepping on the AM frequency. Great. Um, which one can do the FM band expanded mode, the 76 to 108? Well, it's not the San Gene. It's a CC Pocket. Yes, when you go to 9K stepping on AM, it automatically defaults to 76 to 108 megahertz on the FM band. So you get the expanded FM band while you're traveling. Great thought on that. And I believe that covers most of it, except it comes down to price. This is a big one. This can be had for right around $48, $49. And this one here can be had for around $60 to $65. This represents an increase in 30% of value, you know, increase over the Sanjin. Is it worth 30% more for the extra features I mentioned? That's up to you to decide. Me, yes, it's 15 bucks. You're already spending 50. That 15 bucks isn't that much more to get the radio I want. So uh, that, that in my book is good, but that's totally up to you on your decision making. Is it worth 30% more for this radio on all those features I just put out there for you? So the winner in my book is the CC Pocket. I have these two. And you guys can definitely comment below what you think about that. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, but yes, it's definitely uh, wins on all those checklists. I actually counted them up and it won by like two thirds. It's quite a bit. Uh, so yes, this is the radio I would pick. So there you are. The face off of the two mighty premium pocket radios with the CC pocket coming out in the lead and the Sanjin coming out second. But it's not, you know, it's, it's to say it's all preference. You may love this radio. And you may not need the extra features here and save yourself some money. And you got this one here as your runner up and you'll be happy with either radio. But if, you, if you're that person who has to have everything and done the best, this is the one to go with. So I wanna make sure you guys uh, know that they both are amazing radios for the CC Pocket wins. <laughs> so if you love this video, big thumbs up. If you Want to subscribe and you're new, just hit the little subscribe button. I think everybody tells you that. I think I told you at the beginning of the video. Hit the little bell icon because I like making videos every evening. You don't want to miss any. And uh, yeah, and comment because people love to comment. I know it. <laughs> I do too. So yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Take care and goodbye.